Lights up the box and plays the game He never reads instructions Cause they're lame, he's passable He plays the game so badly His eyes are twitching madly He's here again so sadly He's passable Welcome back. Right, this is Alan Turvey's latest game, Roust. Um, it's a downloadable now. I'll include a link, of course, as to where you can download and purchase it from. It is a paid purchase. Only costs a couple of quid from his uh, website. And as well as this game, you are going to get the ZX81 Celebratory Birthday Skin um, version of the game, which I'm going to highlight later. And if you've watched the Lord Such's video of this, you'll already um, know what that is. Um, so, yeah, Roust is um, basically an homage, a tribute to Joust, the uh, famous arcade game. You play a little blue bloke on a little blue ostrich with a little blue spike on a little blue lance, and you have to go around um, each particular level um, off in the baddies by dropping down on them from above or behind and above. Um, they transform uh, into an egg if you manage to um, defeat them. You collect the egg, that means it won't hatch into another baddie, and once you've got the last one, you then move on to the next wave. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? But it's not. It's actually quite um, quite tricky. The control is in this game is really, really, really smooth. Q, A, O, P, and M are the um, controls. It's inertia-based as well, as you'll see often when I uh, land, etc. Um, uh, your, your, your character takes a, a couple of steps to uh, slow to a halt, and you've got to be in perpetual motion, basically. And you do that by repeatedly pressing the uh, the M or space button, which is the uh, key to flap your wings. There's no fire button as such. Um, graphically, it's really, really, really good. You can see that it's um, uh, Joust in uh, all but name. Now, it is a homage, a tribute, etc. And the name would suggest that it is um, Joust is the main inspiration. Of course it is. But the reason that Alan has written this game, he was kind enough to answer some questions for me, is that back in the day, before he had a Spectrum, he was a Dragon 32 owner. And there was a game on that system called Buzzard Bait, which, um, to quote him, is the best um, Joust clone uh, game on the of the 8-bit era. Now, I don't know that game at all, so I can't um, uh, vouch for that, yes or no. But um, this is his tribute to it. It's something he's always wanted to do. Now, he's been helped in this by um, David Sapphire, who does the sound, and also helped him out with... Um, some ideas um, surrounding coding, etc. Um, Craig Howard did that fantastic loading screen that you saw. And also, this game is written using the AGD tool, the uh, AGD utility. And he's uh, been helped uh, by Jonathan Caldwell, the author of that utility, who's given some hints and tips, etc. Now, um, it's taken... He started this in about August of last year. Now, I was... Um, fortunate enough um, to be privy to a couple of early sort of builds of this game and I must admit playing the um, final game it's really really great to see that all the sort of like initial niggles etc that I um, sort of found with those early versions are, are, are gone that Alan's really sort of like worked to make this as playable as possible sound wise it's really 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 good i did mention that um, david sapphire added yet another fantastic um soundtrack to yet another great game um the in-game sounds are absolutely fine spot on it controls really 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 well now um obviously you know the big thing for people like alan is is seeing people play and enjoy his games now i often say when i do these homebrew videos that um, you know we need to keep encouraging people to keep you know to to keep on producing this stuff because they're doing it in their own time. You know they've got uh, uh, jobs to uh, go to, they've got houses to run, families to look after, etc. Any um, spare time they get to code is um, you know they have to sort of like uh, budget really really tightly for. Now um, the feedback for you know for all his projects um, so far, invaders and terrapins, etc., um, has been really 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 good. So. 
keep up your uh, keep up your encouragement because you know we need people like Alan and other homebrew developers, the Andrew Dansby's, um, the Andy Johns's, um, the Retro Souls teams. They need to know that we appreciate what it is that they do um, constantly because otherwise, uh, you know, uh, that well that gives them the encouragement to keep on, and we are the ones that benefit from it. Now. I'm really, really, really enjoying um, playing Joust. I'm absolutely crap at it, as you can see. But um, should you download it, um, should you play it? Yeah, of course, especially if you're a fan of the arcade game. Now, I'm going to ask some questions um, because we're coming up to the ZX81 um, skin version of it in just a second. Um, what is your knowledge of um, Joust, the arcade game? It's something that I've only ever seen in... Um, YouTube videos, etc. I didn't play it at all myself. I don't know what um, whether or not any versions exist on the Spectrum prior to um, Alan's uh, games. Please, please, please let me know. Now, here we've got the ZX81 skin. Now, it won't work on a ZX81. This is a ZX Spectrum game just with a ZX81 style graphics. But again, you can see, you know, this is really, really, really good. Two games in one for two quid. You know, you can't sort of knock that. Um, you know, so let's by all means go out and support um, Alan. Download the game. It's only going to cost you a couple of quid. You really, really will enjoy it, particularly if you're a fan of the um, arcade game or any other versions of it that there were. Um, yeah, it's really, really, really great. Now, I would like to ask a question. You know, um, we already had some fantastic um, games come out of the ZX um, conversions uh program uh, sorry competition etc of uh, you know people to make games um for the spectrum that um, never appeared or appeared on other systems but never appeared on the specy now what would you like to see a conversion of i can't you know we're not going to say we're going to make it happen but just as a um as a conversational piece in the comments down below you know what games came out on other systems that never came out on the spectrum would you like to see now bear in mind how encouraged we can be by the likes of the uh the the version of uh, Mighty Final Fight that was released. There are some fantastic coders out there. Hopefully, one or two of them uh, might um, watch this video and get an idea, and it might might have a light bulb moment to um, get them to actually do something. Who knows? Anyway, please, please, please download this game um, because it really, really is worth it. It's good fun, um, well designed, great. Um, game really really um, good to play i'm sorry my gameplay is absolutely crap but that's me you know um please support alan um please make sure that he continues to do further games because uh, you know i really really enjoyed this if you like the video please let me know if you wish to subscribe please do so but if you do subscribe please 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 take the time to join in with the comments and discussions take care of yourselves goodbye